Dami for Seti. Huh. Shit. Didn't think they'd ever let him out. He kept his head down. Helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we gonna do, Connie? We treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town. Okay? We've been talking about expanding down south, right? This city is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all bad products, Connie. None of the families will touch that shit. Times are changing. The families can't keep their backs turned while enemies reap the rewards. So we send someone down to do the dirty work for us, and cut ourselves a nice quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact down there? Ren Dosenberg, schmuck of a lawyer. How's he gonna hold for Seti's leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Ghetto City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give it a few months. Then we go down, pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. Hey, hey guys, it's, uh, Ren Dosenberg here. Hey, great, hey! Well, uh, I am gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers, and they are very, uh -huh, keen to start a business relationship, so if all goes well, we should, uh, be doing very nicely for ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so, they're brothers, okay? One operates the, uh, the business, and the other one does the flying. Straight exchange in open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight. Let's go. Got it? 100% pure, genuine products, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? Tens and twenties! Used! I think we have a deal, my friend. Haha. <laughs> oh shit! Go on, get out of here! Drive! I pock my head out of the gutter for one freaking second. And fate shovels shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow, and we can start sorting this mess out.
Hello, Connie. Domi, Domi, it's been too long. So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Connie, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Larry and Dee are dead. You better be kidding me, Domi. Tell me you still got the money. No, Connie, I don't have the money. That was my money. Domi, my money! You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get your money and stuff back. And I'm going to mail you the heads of those responsible. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you... Because we got history. I'm gonna let you handle this. Look, Connie, you got my words. I'll be in touch. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's ridiculous. Shut up and relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our products, and then I'm gonna kill them. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Suan Marcia Mortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal. Well away from ghetto's established thugs, okay? He has organized an event. I don't know for what. But all of Ghetto City's big players are going to be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there. Shut up. I'll go myself. Okay, go. Come on. Buenas noches. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Dosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or, uh, mental well-being. Mr. Uh? For Chetty, he's just got a touch of... agoraphobia. Excellent, excellent. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Mercedes, could you look after our guest while I attend to necessary obligations? Of course, Daddy. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway... Let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our Congressman Felix Shrub with Rising Silicone star Andy Sucks. And over there, we have the Ghetto City Mamba's Starfight End, MJ. And that amphibian is Fez Torrent, lead singer with Love Fist. And the Chatty Trio. That sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right-hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Foster Richards and pseudo-intellectual film director, Reeve Scott. Colonel! Your parties as ever are a triumph, ha ha ha. I can only apologize for my late arrival. Who's the loudmouth? Picardo Riaz. He's Mr. Hey, Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Picardo. Let's get out of here. Actually, take me to the casino's club.